Hello and welcome to Giant Angry Monsters. I got rapid fire. Joe just made the poor choice of not picking the chess piece. But you don't know what any of them do, Colin. He will come to regret this in the future. You can't read. That's a bold statement. Prove it. Prove you can read. If I could, if I couldn't read, could I do this? Yes. In fact, that increases the odds of your <laughs> your not being able to read this. I, I, I don't I don't think that follows through. Ow! No. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Uh, but what about uh, this? Uh, what are you even doing? Wait, I have a third one. Crap, crap! Or, or, this. No, this is dumb. Yeah. And these are the plastic ones. I have another one over here. Hold on. I can't reach it. Party time! Yeah! I have a small collection of ocarinas. Most of them are plastic. I have an even smaller collection. And by that, you mean zero? Yes. Yes. How long I died? Really? We just started a new episode. Um, uh, Hats. <laughs> I, I, just, I just feel like you could have picked a better time to die. Wait, do I have... Boss Rush! Oh! So what's that? Wait, how do I get the Pacifish Award? Don't kill anything. Okay. Do it. That sounds like something I can do. Do it. What's this? <gasps> oh, that's neat. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Hey, it is. I like green fish. Yeah. Yay! I can only imagine how chaotic this would be with more with like four people. If only you weren't on the internet, and then we could find out. Yeah. It'll never happen. So remember, Joe, don't shoot anything. Okay. I wonder how the bosses get resolved. They don't, I guess? Um... So just get, yeah. Get things that make it easier to survive. I wonder, maybe if you don't ever antagonize the submarine, it's just like, oh, I guess he's a <laughs> friend this whole time. It's like Eileen the Crow in, in, in Bloodborne. This will only survive. By the way, I, I started playing Bloodborne again. Um, Eileen kind of ate it. Why? Um, the guy that, she, that we were trying to kill together kind of killed her. What's a brand new home? <gasps> oh. Well, that, that makes sense. I love it here. <laughs> What's the mortgage like? One million dollars. That's a lot. Yeah. And with interest. 10,000% interest. Like, it's pretty bad. I got the achievement four arms, one bolt. It's a very specific achievement, I feel like. So... No, it'll never be over, Yellow Submarine. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'm, I'm doing this right. <laughs> I just don't know how else you could get a pacifist run. You mean pacifish? Yes. How long do I have to go? I don't know. <clears throat> I mean... Did they just reference the Cinderace shark? Because if so, that's amazing. <laughs> You've seen that, right? Yes. Cinderay sharks. Ah! Oh, oh. Ah. Why are there cats here? I like I was just like, just smashing buttons like, yeah, yeah. This will show them. Good. Oh, Whoa. good. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Joe, did you see that guy that made, um... Oh, oh, wow, this looks hard. Oh, that's neat. You got a little protective shield. Um, did you see that guy? He, he made firework cannons that strapped to his arms. Nope. They look awesome and like Can a horrible one? idea. 
I love when people do stuff like that, though. They make, like, the, the person that made, like, functioning Wolverine claws. <laughs> it's, like, so awesome. Hey, if the shark knocks into my fishbowl and dies, do I still get a pacifist run? I don't know. Did that happen? I have a machine gun. Do you think maybe you have to, like, kill the kill the yellow submarine? Yeah, I got it! Oh, nice. Now I can shoot things. And now death! <laughs> and now I've become death, destroyer of worlds. Or at least the, this aquarium. That would actually be the best. If it zooms out at the end of the game and it turns out this has all just been happening in an aquarium. <laughs> but I'm in a fish tank already! So, you've never done that? You've never put your fish in a fish tank in the fish in the bigger fish tank? No, I've just killed all my fish accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> I had a beta fish that lasted a really long time. I was really Actually, sad. I didn't kill all my fish, my sister did. Oh. That's even worse. So now Why I have that works? plant. Because one of our guinea pigs died of a heat stroke. Oh. I had a hamster that ate the other hamster that was living with it. Because I didn't feed either of them, so he murdered the other one and ate his flesh. I was not a good pet owner when I was a little kid. Good. I had a hamster, and there was this guy, this kid over, this was when I was really young, and I didn't let him hold the hamster. And then we went down to like watch TV or something, and apparently he went back up to the room to pick up the hamster and then held it over the stairs by its neck. What? And paralyzed it. What? That's awful! <laughs> and then... Oh, I have an innovative new control scheme. That's only gonna make this easier. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it paralyzed it? Yeah, and we had to put it down. I've... I've never even heard of a situation where you have to put down a hamster. That's really sad. Do you have an eye patch? Yes. That's that's great. I had to put down a few of my rodents and it was sad. Aww. We recently had a mouse or rat in in my room. That's adorable. Yeah. He wasn't supposed to be there, but he was. Oh. So um I ended up One I time I had mm. a dwarf hamster in my room. Nice. It, it was just my sister's. She put it in my room. Oh. That's with its cage and everything, and just, it was in my room. <laughs> that story got less exciting the more you went on. <laughs> Every detail just made it less of a story. It's like I once punched a guy in the middle of Street Fighter. I was playing Street Fighter at the arcade against the computer. Um, no one was really watching. I don't care. Good upside down party time. What would you even call that? Like an anti-story? Like a story that gets like turns into less <laughs> of a story the more you tell it? Sure. Oh, and with that mouse, by the way, the thrilling conclusion to that story is I tried using all my stuff to make like a little like path so I could scare it and it would run outside since there's a door to the outside in my room. But he didn't want to leave the radiator in the corner, so I ended up just putting setting up a box right next to him and then blasting him with uh, canned air from the CO2 thing. And he fled into the box, and then we just turned it upright and <laughs> tossed Good. it outside. Although, when, we had to close the I box. I had a mole in my basement. Yeah? Did you eat it? No. I caught it in a little, like, box trap and then let it outside. And nice. it probably froze to death. Oh. Well, that is unfortunate. But, I don't know. I hope it did. And it was adorable. <laughs> I mean... And really fast. The mouse that I let out could very well be dead. There are a lot of cats that go into our backyard <laughs> on the regular, so it's probably prime hunting grounds for them. Also, our yard is slowly growing over to the point where it's gonna, like, start encroaching on the house soon. Like, our, our chairs, the chairs and table we have out there is, like, slowly having, like, vines and shit growing. It's gonna look like the secret garden, but with more, like, mosquitoes you, and vermin. What are you gonna do about that? I don't know. I guess have some girl who calls it her secret garden and then I have to like yell at her and be a douche or something. Is that how that goes? I think so. I don't, I haven't seen that 
like read or experienced that story in a long ass time. So I remember nothing except like she ha she was like disabled and there's a secret garden and like I don't know. I think it was the love was the love. I don't know. But yeah, she had a garden. It was her secret garden, and then the lady was like, "You can't go outside." Someone else's secret garden first. She didn't build it. Secret garden, spa? No, not the secret garden. What are you? I'm not looking for the secret garden. I'm looking for the story, the secret garden, uh, novel by Francis Hodgson Burnett. Uh, okay. Are you googling it? No. You're googling it. You're oh, a you Googleizer. This <laughs> you Googleizer. I do get a good you Googly, but oh, did you see um for I guess convention thingy? I don't know, but um a yeah. couple of the act, original actor voice actors for the English dub of um, Dragon Ball Z dubbed over some famous movie scenes, and the guy who voiced Vegeta voice uh, Chris Sabat voiced over um uh, Derek Zoolander for that for that exchange. Hearing Vegeta call himself you Googleizer was kind of great. <laughs> but yeah, also actually I saw an interview with him today, with uh, just this morning, and he actually made, he, he uh, did a shout out to the DBZ Abridge guys, uh, Team Four Star. It was kind of nice. He's like, I respect but... them. They're cool people. Also, do you do you want to do another one? Nick, don't. Well, I did unlock hard mode. All right. Maybe I can quit and do that next time. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Right. I'm going to kill by the butts.